Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey and today I have a super special island tour for you. We're touring my island of Sweet Tart. If you don't know, this island was my 30 day challenge island and it was a 30 day challenge. It was a no terraforming challenge and it was a pink core challenge. I have never never in the history of Animal Crossing done an entirely pink island. So this was entirely new for me. Let's get started. We're gonna start with my flag right here. Isn't she cute? You might recognize it if you ever dug through my previous dream addresses. It was actually the flag from my very first fairy core island of El Bosque. It was one of the first custom codes I ever made. So here we are at the entrance. At the entrance, we just made this cute little gazebo moment. I actually really love it. We have our little garden wagon here being watered. It is a very meadowcore island. And then we have our little pink cherry blossom trees. And I don't know, it's just very cozy, very pink. And I do love it. We're gonna head over here to resident services so we can show you what we did with resident services resident services was hidden behind a castle wall because let's be real Red resident services doesn't scream pink core it really doesn't it doesn't scream anything anything about this island let me show you what we have for custom designs if you, by some chance, have been keeping up with this island series, then you know that I made all of the custom designs on this island, either from the past or in this island. And so I uploaded all of the custom designs that I've made on this island here. You can also find them over on my Twitter or my Instagram, or you can take a screenshot right here. Hopefully you guys like them. I truly, truly fell in love with all of these codes. So hopefully they do you well in the future as well. Moving right along over here, we just filled it in with just some cute little decor. I put a baby bear here. There's a lot of little bears here. I get a lot of plushies for Valentine's Day. So I feel like plushy core was a vibe. We also left a lot of little presents for you to open. So if you come here and you open them, you'll have to let me know what's in them. I would be really um, excited and interested to know what they are. We have Gail's house right off and Gail has a little hyacinth farm and a flower shop. This is super, super cute. I was gifted this little pink elephant watering can towards the end of the island. So I replaced her watering can here. Of course, Gail needs a spot to relax, so we put her over here. We gave her a little chill spot over here. And then, of course, there's a car that is trying to come in. I just love the idea that there's a pink car in the game, and I had to put it somewhere. That's pretty much it. I had to. So over here, we don't really, we didn't really do anything with this beach in front right here, but we do have this cute little seating area right here and I just thought it was super cute, so I wanted to show it to you guys. If we go to the right of the entrance, we have a little carnival in case you wanna take a little romantic date over to the carnival. Over here, we have our little refreshment stand and all of the little treats that you can get over here. And then over in this direction, we have our little prize factory and all of the things that you can get, you know, for prizes and things that you win, little gotcha machines, all of the fun things. You can, of course, buy balloons on our at our carnival. And I had to use the pink elephant, you guys. I love elephants. And I know that the, the elephant um, blow-up toy is a little scary looking, but it, it deserved... A cameo appearance on this island it really did it did someone gifted me a potty because it was pink so here it stands right here and I you know we had to use it we had to if you go behind the carnival area we have a tutu and Tia's um, cafe they have a little cafe over here. They're little business girls. And I feel like a little romantic date at a cafe would be absolutely magical. 
We have a cute little seating area, which I do see in most coffee shops, and then some other seating, outdoor seating, if, if you will. I use the Cinema Roll Cafe sign because how cute is it? It is so cute. And then I put some little friends here to enjoy some sweet little treats. And because these girls are environmentally conscious, they have their own little garden in front where they grow all of their own produce for their cafe. We gotta love that about them. They're, they're very responsible business owners and I love that. Look at my baby Ellie, she's so cute. Y'all, she's adorable. So right along the back, we didn't really do a whole lot. We just have some really simple decor, just some little seating areas and such. We have our little trolley Luigi shoes having to make an appearance here. This island was created in 30 days, you guys. So we were on a little bit of a time crunch here. So I would say that not a lot of it was planned out very in advance. This was kind of put together as we went along. It was a, such a fun process though. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun on this island. It was crazy, it was wild. I wasn't sure if it would finish. We did this little area right here just so there's something to look at as you're running by. Nothing too special going on back here. And then we're gonna cross over to the back. This is the last speed build of the island that I did and it is Judy's toy shop, Judy's plushie shop, her Valentine's Day gift shop. We've got our little Squishmallow stuffers going on over there and all of the toys, which I mean, Come on, every Valentine's Day island needs a toy shop, right? It just seems like it's absolutely necessary. Along this beach, I thought the bunny day trees would be perfect over here. I think I was right. I like the bunny day trees. They're very cute over here. And then we have that little seating area on the rocks. Nothing, nothing fancy, just very simple decor on this island. I love it because it is very simple decor. It's one of the things that I do love about the island. This book here, I can't believe it showed up in the dream address, but um, apparently it, it was there when I saved the dream. I don't remember seeing it. So here we have Chief's house. We didn't do anything fancy to Chief's house. We just gave him a typical like male garden area, a man, a man area, if you will and a fancy car. He probably plays some sports, so we gave him a football, but that's that's pretty much it. Nothing too crazy. Over here, this was my failed attempt at a rock garden at midnight. No, it was 11.30. I was like, let me try to spawn a rock garden. This was the last area on the island, and I was like, let me try and spawn a rock garden here. Three of the rocks would not spawn, and I know I needed to move these two trees so that you could see three spaces behind, but I didn't really have enough time that to finish it, so I just made it so that rocks couldn't spawn on the island at all. So there we go. We have no rocks on this island. There is, there's no rockage happening here, but it's fine. I like this little courtyard area. I feel like it suits the island really, really well. And that's all it is. It's just a little courtyard. Nothing to see here. Just a, a sweet little courtyard, right? If we come up this way, we're going to find the museum. Um, I still managed to find a way to hide the museum because me being me, I don't love the museum building. I know a lot of people do like it. I don't love it. I just didn't feel like it fit my energy here. So we made it very romantic and we turned it into a beautiful castle with sculptures and paintings and all of the things, right? It's very romantic. It's a romantic little spot to take a stroll. We have a cute little statue, statue garden in the front. And if we go along right here, we have a little coffee truck right here because it seems like something that you would find outside of the museum. We have some branding going on over here, you know, for the islands. And then we're just gonna come up here and go through. Blathers is completely accessible. As you can see, Meringue is over here. If she'll let me through. Okay, we have a little painting area right here. 
which I do love. And then just some decor up here. I just felt like those two statues looking front and back were a pretty statement piece. And then we have her painting and overlooking the ocean back there. I just thought that was a really sweet moment to capture. This island was saved during the golden hour and I love the way it looks at this time of day. I feel like it is the prettiest time of day to showcase an island like this, like 100% hands down. You guys let me know if you agree or not. And then we have just um, Marshall's house back here. I gave Marshall a wheat field. I just thought it was a very fun thing to put on the island. I love the wheat fields. I love something about running through them is a very satisfying. So we gave Marshall a cute little wheat field over here. Um, and it was mostly because there's a bakery in front. Meringue's bakery is in front. And I feel like Marshall is providing the flour for meringue and that's just really a cute idea right that Marshall and meringue are in business together and they're doing things they're coming up in the world so we have our cute little bakery over here and of course we have a seating in case anyone wants to stop and enjoy a little treat before they go we do offer entertainment at Meringue's Bakery over here. We have our little street piano, and I didn't know that came in pink, but when I saw it in pink, I was like, it needs to have a place on this island. It just does. So that was that over there. I thought it was super cute. I really loved it. If we keep moving past the little seating area in the courtyard, we have a double bridge moment this island was no terraforming so i had to take advantage of these moments when they made themselves presentable to me so we took advantage of the terrain and put a double bridge moment here i really love them i think they really make an island they kind of just step up the decor a little bit right i just love them so much and then we have our shopping district where we have our able sisters and this is in front of meringue's bakery we have our Able Sisters, and then right next to it, we have the Nook's Cranny, and just some very simple, basic decor going on for them. We have our little car in the parking lot. I decided on using this little custom code for the shopping baskets. I have no regrets. I think it's super cute. Going down this path right in front, we have a little river walk. I love a good river walk in real life. And I decided to make it a cherry blossom kind of enchanted walkway with all of the little confetti machines shooting up their little confetti. We put a little rest stop area here with a baby bear in a stroller. I just think it's so cute. I don't know where mama went, but you know, the baby's just resting here waiting for her to come back. And then we just moved right over here. And here is where we enter the wedding. So this is Maple and Melba's wedding, and I just thought it was so much fun. I did make this in stream. A lot of this island was made on stream. I don't know how we managed to make an entire island mostly on stream, but we did, you guys, and it was such a grind. Would I do it again? I'm not sure, but I have no regrets about having done it once. We have Chief, maybe he's gonna protest, who knows? That would be like very drama movie, right? Romantic comedy maybe? But I did their houses matching. I think it came out really cute. In the front of it, we have a little wedding reception over here with guests. I just love this little picture right here. I feel like it's so happy and cute. Just a sweet little moment. Over here, we just did a boardwalk up the beach, nothing too special, and I made a little path going up over here to Ellie's house. And Ellie, we gave a bunny garden, and there's my character right here. And she says, be my sweetheart. I just thought that was a cute thing to say on an island like this. So we gave Ellie a bunny meadow with a heart pond because Ellie is my sweetheart you guys I love her so much she needed the heart pond like she had to be put placed in the heart pond that was super important to me 
So here we have her little house right here with her car parked in front because she's a boss. Of course I'm visiting Ellie because where else would I be on an island if I'm not visiting Ellie, right? Um, Ellie's house is right in front of my house. Are you surprised? You shouldn't be. We have a pink tulip field over here leading to my house. I just thought the tulips in this lighting would just be so beautiful and I put it in front of my house. My house is actually not decorated. The beaches and the whole island are decorated but my house is the one thing that did not get decorated. 30 days is not a long time you guys. Usually I do decorate my entire house and everything but I ran out of time. I ran out of time so uh, yeah this was what, what happened. And this is our campsite. The campsite was a members only build that I did. It was just a sweet little mini build. Just a typical campsite, right? Very, very normal campsite. This whole island is so pink. I said this before, and this will be the last time I say it. I have never pinked so much pink in my entire life, but I have learned to, a new appreciation and love for the color pink, and I have no regrets. I would never, I would never turn it back or do it over again. I really love the way this island came out. It was so much fun to make. The experience, the frenzy of the 30-day island was so much fun. You guys are so much fun to build an island with. I wouldn't change anything about it. Would I do this again? Maybe. I might set it up a little bit differently. I might set myself up to actually succeed if I were going to do it again. Um, I didn't prepare any of the custom codes in advance, so maybe I would do that in advance to prepare. And maybe I wouldn't spend so much time villager hunting because we decorated this island in 17 days. I would probably not do a no terraforming challenge on top of the 30 day challenge, but at the same time, I like that challenge. I feel like this is showing all of the people who are insecure about terraforming that you can make a beautiful island without knowing how to terraform very, very well. So hopefully you guys feel a lot more confident going into your island and making it whatever you want and knowing that you can do that without a lot of heavy terraforming where you feel like you really need to start your island over if you mess up. So hopefully that inspires you guys a little bit and hopefully I've inspired you to keep playing this game with me. I love this game so, so very much. Uh, 30 day challenge, maybe next island, maybe. But for right now, you can join me while we make our blue coastal island. We're in the planning stage in the, and we just plotted out our dreamies. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are. I know you can be absolutely anywhere in the entire world and you chose to stay here with me and tour this island with me for a little bit. The dream address is going to be right here on the screen if you want to come and see Sweet Tart for yourself. I hope you have a fantastic Valentine's Day or Galentine's Day and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.